Hi guys, and welcome to week six of our distance learning. Um, today's lesson is going to be around mapping and about drawing things and being able to describe what they are using our math language. Um, so words like square and rectangle, circle, triangle. Um, before we left school, um, we had worked on some 3D shapes as well. So you can describe things as being a sphere, which remember is like a ball, um, a cube, which is just a whole lot of squares together, but it's a 3D object. Remember, it's got depth. It's a, it's a three-dimensional object. You can see all different sides of it. It's not flat. Um, and there's a rectangular prism uh, or a cuboid. Uh, there's a cylinder. There's a cone. There's all sorts of those shapes. And we'll go over those in a whole other different uh, lesson. Um, but for today's video, we are looking at mapping. So we are going to draw a picture of a room in your house. And you can pick any room you want. So for this lesson, this activity, you are going to need a, a piece of paper, uh, um, some kind of writing utensil, so either a crayon or a pencil or a pen or a marker or something like that. Um, and it is a little tricky because I'm going to need you to think about what your room would look like from a bird's eye view. So a bird's eye view means like a bird flies in the sky over top. So like you're looking down at something. It's kind of neat. So you're looking down and, and what does it look like from over top? So suddenly your couch won't look like just a big kind of couch that you're sitting on. From over the top, it might look like a rectangle that someone could sit on. So that's what I mean by bird's eye view. So I'm going to grab my piece of paper. And lucky for you guys, I already chose a room in my house. So I've already finished mine. But I am going to add a few more things. So as you can see here in my room, this is a fireplace. And there's my TV. I have a circle for the chair over here. This big guy, who's kind of like he's a bunch of rectangles put together, he's my couch. He's a sectional couch. He's a really big couch. Over here is a table. And this little guy over here, this little hook looking thingy, is a door. So this is the room that I chose. And I'm only drawing the big items in my room. The big items. So like TVs, chairs, couches, tables, desks. Um, if you have a pile of toys, maybe you can just draw kind of a funny looking shape that looks like a pile of toys. But as you can see, it looks like I'm looking down at this room from over the top. And that's why they have those shapes like that. Okay, so basically what I've done is, is I've mapped out my room. I've drawn out just one space in my house and I've drawn out that space and I've mapped it out. This is what it looks like. Once you've drawn that out, we are going to use it for another activity later. So I want you to keep this one safe, but that's your activity for this one. This one is you're just going to draw, you're going to map out, pick a room in your house, and you're going to map it out. Now, as you can see, if my TV is across from my couch, I need to draw it across from my couch. If it's not beside the couch, then you can't draw it beside. And a big hint for you guys is be careful how big you draw things. You want to try to keep things in relation to proportion, which means proportion means what size things are. And in relation means that if I'm drawing the TV this big, then I don't draw the couch this big, right? Because a couch is bigger than a TV. So if I draw my TV this big, I got to draw my couch bigger than my TV. And I got to make sure they all fit on my paper. But this is me and I've mapped out my room using shapes. Okay, my TV is a rectangle, fireplace is a rectangle, chair is a circle, my sectional couch is a bunch of rectangles together, and my table over here is also a rectangle. I didn't see any triangles in my room or anything like that. So this is what the room that I chose looked like, and it's all mapped out. Okay, so I want you guys to go off and try to map out one of your rooms. And remember, you want to draw them from there looking over the top. And you want to draw them where they are in the room, if they're across from something or beside something. Okay? And we're going to use those words. All right, guys. Good luck with drawing your map.